I don't have quite as many terrible terrors of, of things that we did them all, but um, but yeah, I'm, uh, Joe asked us to just say a few things, and um, yeah, I just want to say first, what a beautiful day it is. Um, just over the last two days of being here, working on the house, and, and having it look how Maul would want it to look. Um, you look around and see the yard, and you look at the front porch, you think, wow, this is this is how Mom probably used to keep her house before most of us were here. This is how beautiful she would have had it. This is how proud she would be of how the house looks today. And um, I kept seeing something that that, that told me, oh, Ma's here with us helping us get the house together. Uh, so I walk around the corner, I see a little red cardinal sitting up on top of the bird feeder. Walk around the corner of the house, there it'd be in the yard again, following me <laughs> through the yard like, Make sure you uh, make sure you put that where it's supposed to go. Make sure you clean that up. Thanks for making my house look so nice for everybody this weekend. So everybody knows Maul's infatuation with every kind of bird. And I just wanted to say, I saw a little red cardinal here all weekend here with us. And I think that was Maul here uh, enjoying and, and uh, being a, appreciative and proud of how our house looked today. Um, as, as Maul was nearing her final days, I remember one of the things she told me is, um, before I moved that the last thing she ever cooked in this house was a batch of biscuits for me to eat And if you know me, I don't think you can know how more fitting that is because if she made a thousand biscuits in the time She lived here. I probably ate 700 of them So I think uh, it's very fitting that the last thing she cooked in the house was the thing that probably got eaten the most in this house Which was homemade biscuits and I couldn't be happier to have eaten the last batch of them because I think I liked them as much as anybody I probably ate about as many as these guys did even in a third of the amount of time um, But I'm so happy to be here and uh I know that Ma is here with us as we keep feeling this wind gust and hearing the birds. Uh, even just sitting here the last few minutes, one of the things that I'm so happy to see is just the kids running around and laughing. Because that's that's what Ma would have wanted to see. And uh, it's just happy. It's, uh, it's happy to see everybody here enjoying her house. And uh, I know that she's here with us. And I'm so thankful to be able to be here with everybody that she loves so much. And uh, I'm happy to be able to speak. And, uh, happy to be able to remember her in, in her favorite place in the world. And I know she couldn't be happier though, to see her whole family and friends here gathered to, uh, I'm sure she wouldn't want us to make this big of a production out of her, but we all know that she deserves it. So uh, Cameron's gonna say a few things as well. Hey, welcome everybody. I just wanna say it is a very beautiful day indeed. I'm very glad to be here in front of all of you. Um, obviously for me, I don't have quite as many memories as I'm the youngest grandchild. Um, but the memories that I do have, I figured I would just show up, see what memories pop up to me, uh, see what I'd speak about. So I do have a couple things I want to speak about. Um, for me and Brandon, we spent a lot of time here together as grandchildren. Uh, I remember a lot of memories with Maul, a lot of happy memories, obviously. Um, so for me, I think some of the most obvious memories were coming for Christmas, for Thanksgiving. I remember every Christmas, I would always uh, look forward to coming to Maul's house because I knew I'd always get a new Lego set. And for anybody that knows me for about six years of my life, when I was around 10, 15, somewhere there, uh, every year I'd get new Lego sets, and I was so happy to me. Um, and I always knew Ma would get me one. And she didn't pick them out for me. Um, her dad or mom would tell her what to get me, and she would just say she got it. But I always looked forward to it. And I was always so happy to tell her like what it was and why I wanted to play with it. Um, and obviously Ma didn't know anything about them, but she was still happy for us. She wanted me to be happy with the toys that I was getting. And, I really think that that shows kind of how Maul was. Like she cared about all of us in her own way. She loved us all the same as grandchildren. And she just wanted us to be happy. And um, that was one of the ways that she showed me that. And, uh, the, the things that she got for us. And I remember all the years just playing that with the Lego sets with her, showing her what it was. And then after being back here over the last couple of days, one of the things that really stood out to me, um, the smell, like not in a bad way, but it was so distinctive. <laughs> Going into Papa's old room, it made, it made me think of him and just smelling the house all the memories popped up with being here and being with Maul and Papa. And uh, it's not something that you would think about, but being here over the last couple of days, it's like every time I walk in, I can, I can just imagine them coming around the corner or sitting in the living room and eating uh, Eggo waffles with them for breakfast. And all those good memories that I have. So um, it's just been it's wonderful for me to be back and have all those good memories. So thank you for your time.